I want, to thank, I want to start off by thanking all of you so much for your endorsement. It's really brought a lot of energy into the campaign. So for, you, for those of you who don't know, my name is Aaron Barasa. I'm running for state representative in District 77. Uh, District 77, my win number is a little bit different than Mary's. Our win number is 9,600, so we have slightly more people in District 77. Um, it covers mostly central El Paso, so we have downtown, the Segundo Barrio, but it goes as far west as Belvedere, so I also have the Coronado Country Club area, uh, Mission Hills, Kern Place, uh, Memorial Park, and it goes in as far northeast as Trans Mountain, so it's a fairly large district, but it's in the heart of El Paso. It's very unusual for organizations to, to, endorse, the, to endorse a challenger against the incumbent. That doesn't usually happen. But that just shows how much we need a change of leadership in District 77. That just shows that we, that you all need someone at the state level from our district to fight for you guys. Because I promise you, I will not compromise on your bargaining rights. I will not compromise on any of your pensions. Those are promises we made to you that you earn each and every single day. You all are always a phone call away from us when we need you. And as your state, your next state representative, I will always be a phone call away when you need me. That I can promise you. As you, I'm very honored to have, to have these endorsements, but as you'll see, the firefighters weren't, weren't one of the organizations that endorsed me. And this is actually the first time that the firefighters did not uh, go along with the cops. They broke the ranks, and the incumbent took them away. So I want to say thank you so much to the leadership that you all have elected because they did a very brave thing. Because they want, to, they want a representative out of District 77 who's going to be committed to the people of El Paso, not to special interests. So I'm going to be working, and once I get elected, I'm going to be working very hard for you in Austin. Um, just to give you a quick background for those that you don't know, my push cards all, are all around the tables. But I graduated from Cathedral High School. I went on to UT Austin. So I also did spend time working at the state capitol. After graduating, I spent time working at political consulting firms, studying public policy, and now I'm a small business owner. I have a laundry and dry cleaning company called Texas Foldo. So I helps generate the Texas sales tax revenue that accounts for about half of our budget. I'm, I'm doing my part to create jobs, I'm doing my part to increase entrepreneurship here in Texas, and once elected, I'm gonna do my part to help you. Thank you.